Europe's Galileo satellite navigation system is a working reality. Galileo is today the world's most accurate satnav system, offering meter scale accuracy to more than 2 billion users around the globe. Now, many of the same experts that designed and oversaw Galileo are supporting cutting-edge European companies in the development of new navigation technologies and services. The result is ESA's Navigation, Innovation and Support Programme, NAVISP. At its heart is the fact that position navigation and timing provision underpins 10% of European economic activity, a figure that goes on growing serving many more sectors than simply transport, from supporting precision farming to synchronising banking and power networks. Satellite navigation, with signals covering the entire globe, is what makes this possible. But this is only a means to an end. The very importance of position navigation and timing means Europe has to be wary of relying on a single solution, vulnerable to interference. We need new methods to find our way. So Navis is looking into all kinds of clever ideas about the future of navigation. Ways to improve satellite navigation, alternative positioning systems and new navigation services and applications. Working in partnership with European industry and researchers, more than 200 Navis projects have been initiated so far underscoring the commercial priority of navigation some 20 ESA member states plus Canada have joined this effort. NAVISP is divided into three elements. The first looking into improving satellite navigation such as extra satellites in lower orbits or high altitude atmospheric platforms to sharpen performance over key regions. It also includes enlarging satellite navigation coverage into the polar regions while ionospheric conditions make signals less reliable and extending satnav all the way to the moon for future explorers or even making use of natural space phenomena such as the regular radio bursts emitted by the fast spinning neutron stars called pulsars for backup timing services additionally navisp element one is looking into novel positioning navigation and timing services often combining satnav with other solutions, such as driverless cars and boats, combining satnav with positioning sensors and artificial intelligence to reach maximum reliability. NAVISP's second element focuses on innovation for competitiveness, developing all kinds of new positioning, navigation and timing products and services to sharpen the competitiveness of European industry. This ranges from novel antennas, receivers and processing algorithms to methods of identifying and combating satnav interference or jamming to entirely new services such as safely managing festivals and other massive events by harnessing the positioning capability of smartphones to avoid overcrowding and help keep friends together. Or making sports safer Satnav-based tracking devices between the shoulder blades of French rugby players help safeguard their health by identifying high force impacts that might trigger concussions. Or adding satnav to power grids, giving them a sense of place and time to provide early warning of potentially dangerous electricity network failures. The third element of NAVISP covers support to member state priorities, including support for national programs and test beds like Belgium's cybersecurity test range, CITEF, addressing threats to air and space transportation systems, such as the hacking of drones. NAVISP has helped prepare Trondheim Fjord in Norway to become Europe's first dedicated test area for autonomous shipping. In Italy, it supports the national PCARS laboratories, dedicated to certifying positioning devices for autonomous and connected driving. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. From satellites in space to 5G, driverless cars to drones. With NAVISP, ESA and the European industry are inventing the future of navigation. <laughs>